thank you very much for a kind brief introduction. Uh, as stated, my name is Msal Kongsu, uh, and uh, I'm the founder and uh, strategic lead of Clinical Survey Outcomes. Um, what we do in a CSO is that we conduct a quality of research where we provide structured feedback uh, from users of medication in RCT, in relation to RCTs and also in relation to real world setting. And one can wonder why, why isn't it important to do so? Well, the reasons why that I have worked in pharma for, for global pharma for 10 years where I have seen how conservative pharmaceutical companies are actually when doing clinical trials. And the reason why they're being very conservative is that they have to publish all the clinical results that they have uh, in accordance to the reg regulatory requirements. And that means that they only include the endpoints into the clinical trials where they feel most sure to win. And, but that may not necessarily give a complete picture of the products. Um, there is actually, naturally, as you know, the adverse event reporting that takes place of re regulatory requirements that all negative experiences have to be reported uh, throughout the clinical trials. But interestingly, pharmaceutical has, until recently, not really have been able to think in that, well, they may actually also do the same thing on the positive sides. And it may also be on the aspects that they may not necessarily be seen as negative. It may be that patients they don't just like the taste of the product, or they have maybe somewhat problems swallowing the product, which doesn't necessarily trigger an adverse event reporting. So by surveying uh, users of a product, you can actually get a more picture, more broad picture, more complete picture of how a product actually works. You can argue that the patient reported outcomes may also be a way to actually include those, uh, include, get a picture of how patient's experience it is. But once again, you need to bear in mind that patient reported outcomes are somewhat standardized. And, it, and, and looking at a new product, you know, looking at the molecule after testing and seeing you know, that mice didn't die, then, then thinking in which questionnaire should we then include? Well, we can try a, a, a SF36 and let's see how that actually works. But once again, when you see the results, you are struggling with why is it that you see a, a moderate uh, uh, a score in the 0 0.2 and physical component score? What kind of word can you put to that? Is that because patients feel less pain in their joints or in their head or in their toes? Where is it? You need to get a, put a word to why it is that you experience it. And you can help that, utilize that in optimizing the presentation of the product in the subsequent trials. That means you get a better picture of the product. You can use the endpoints and, and get in those which patient reported outcomes to include or to develop in the subsequent trials. And in relation to the rare disease, I have actually also experienced how that actually has been used in, rela in relation to, to EMA discussion. Here we actually impose this uh, methodology of, of hearing the users after their participation in the clinical trial. That was a phase one trial. And the, uh, and the pharmaceutical company then put forward the clinical documentation from the phase one results to EMA, where they applied for the orphan drug designation, where EMA actually turned it down because they did not see that the new formulation, which was they were testing, was a significant improvement to the, uh, to, the, to the treatment, which resulted in that the pharmaceuticals then fortunately then could have a look at seeing how uh, they could refer to the patient's feedback and that they experienced that it was a significant improvement that they could take their medication subcutaneously instead of going to the hospital and getting their regular treatment uh, at the hospital. So what I'm saying is that whether it's in relation to a new product or whether you're seeing for repurposing uh, a, an existing product, engage the patients. That is really important. But do it in a structured way. That is even more important. And that's what we do at Clinical Survey Outcomes. So with that, thank you very much for your time and your ears. Thank you.